Hey y'all, let's take a look at what's called the Pythagorean Theorem. And uh, the Pythagorean Theorem was named after a Greek, uh, his name was Charles Q. Theorem. And he, no, that's not it. It was Charles Q. Pythagoras. And this is the Pythagorean Theorem. You've probably heard of it. And it's expressed this way. It's, this is the Pythagorean Theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And what it does is says that you take a side of a right triangle, and let's say it's, uh, you know, three. That's a famous one. And there's another side. Let's say it's four. Well, you can square both of these side lengths. And if you did that, you would get three squared plus four squared. And that, let's say you didn't know the side length here. That would give you this squared. And three squared, of course, is nine. Four squared is 16. That's going to be equal this side squared. 9 plus 16 is 25, so you go, okay, what number squared gives you 25? And of course the answer is 5. And it's, the weird thing is, if you were to actually draw, for example, like on a piece of paper, take a ruler and draw a 3-inch side of a triangle, and then go, and then turn it 90 degrees and draw a 4-inch side of the triangle. Then if you were to take those two, you know, uh, the, the, the ends of both of those sides and connect them, you could take your ruler and measure it out. Now, I'll be doggone if it isn't five inches. It's pretty weird, but anyway, that actually does work. So let's actually do these with uh, um, different kinds of Pythagorean, or excuse me, different kinds of triangles. And they're not all going to give you a nice integer answer, like five or 14 or whatever. Some of them will, but a lot of them won't. We don't care. All we need to do is just apply the theorem. Whatever we get, that's what we get. Just take it, okay? Find A. Well, okay, this is an easy one. There it is. Okay, all right, let's go to the next one. And no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, this is the Pythagorean theorem. It's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, well, A squared, we don't know. We're asking, they're asking us to find it. So A squared is that. B squared, we'll call it four. By the way, um, if they give you C squared, that's one thing, but it doesn't matter which side is A or B. It doesn't, there's not any. Like, oh, the longer side is B. Nothing like that even happens. So, anyhow, let's go uh, 4 squared is 16. And then that's going to be C squared. The C is always the hypotenuse, which is the longest side, the one opposite the right angle. That's going to be 7 squared or 49. Okay, so A squared is going to equal 49 minus 16, which is 33. There is no integer answer. There's no rational answer to the... Uh, you know, to the square root of 33. So you just keep it like that. Just write square root of 33. There you go. Leave it like just like that. Okay. Use the Pythagorean theorem. This is the next one. To find the distance between the points. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, at this point, you're going to use a piece of graph paper. So go ahead and get that out if you need to, because you'll be using it to do a practice problem in a second here. So you can pause it if you want to. All right, um, well, we have points 4, 2, and negative 3, 4. Let's just knock them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2. There's your first point. Okay. Um, oops, let me get to that. Okay, and then negative 3, 4 will be 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, you know, if you want to try to find out the, the distance between this and that, good luck to you. Okay, I don't know how in the world people would possibly do that. But anyhow. Um, you're just going to draw a triangle out of this. That's all you're going to draw. A nice, perfectly straight triangle. Okay. Anyway, the Pythagorean theorem still, you know, will apply to this. And you're going to go, okay, what's the side length here? Well, that'll be 2, of course. Then what's the side length here? 1, 2, 3, that'll be 7. And your question is, what's the distance between this point and that point? And that's just the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So over here, you're going to go, okay, a squared, 4, plus b squared, 7 squared is 49. That equals c squared. Well, you know, 49 plus 4 is 53. So no, you don't have to think about it. It's the square root of 53. So that isn't, that's not an integer answer. And there you go. That's it. That's all you need to do. Okay. Try a. Go ahead and pause it and give it a whirl and see what you get. Okay. Well, let's take a look. We got a squared. We got plus 5 squared. We got uh, equals 9 squared. There we go. So a squared is equal to uh, 81 minus 25, which is going to be 56. Okay? So a is going to be the square root of 56. That's all there is to it. Now, one thing is true about this is you can take the 56 
Now you can bust it up into pieces. Anytime you see a 56 or some kind of an even number like that, check and see if one of the factors isn't a perfect square that you can, you know, kind of yonk out of there. Um, if you're not sure what to do, take your 56 and just go, okay, factor tree. Oh, seven times eight, that's a prime number. Eight, oh, let's see, two times four, two is a prime number. Four, oh, that's another two, there's another two, there it is. So A is actually equal to two, 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 and seven. So two times two times two times seven. That's a pair, that's a four, right? Two times two is four. The square root of four is two, that's gone. Underneath the radical, there's nothing else you can do. There's a 14, because it's two times seven, and that's a two there. And there you go, that's your answer. That's probably what they'll have in the back of the book, no doubt. Okay, all right, try B, give that a whirl, and uh, pause it and see what you get. Okay, well, five and three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, you, there we go. Negative two, negative three, Negative two there, one, two, three, and that's your nice little point there. Yuck. Imagine trying to figure out what that was without using the Thackerian theorem. Okay, and there's my nice, beautifully perfect triangle. That's just shameful. Okay, well, let's figure out what this baby is here. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this side is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we have a squared, we'll call it 6 squared, 36, plus b squared, 7 squared is 49. That equals c squared. So c squared is equal to 85, piece of cake, a is, excuse me, that's a c. c is equal to the square root of 85, nothing you can do with that. There you go. Okay, that is lesson number 10. You guys have a great day. Have fun with these problems today.